we saw BP take the first game um, pretty impressively. We do have MVP to look through uh, for this game. Um, let's see here. Looks like we have Zia Boy currently with three votes, Clumsy Chocobo with two votes, and Theatrix with one vote. So I believe that goes to Zia Boy for game one. Yeah, and that's a no-brainer in my opinion. Yeah. You know, we touched <laughs> upon he he really did an outstanding job. Um, I really think any you, you can make an argument for anybody on BP, um, and you know, but it's your boy got it. Congrats, to it's your boy for for landing Wonderful. those crank hooks. Um, I'm I'm sure that we would have flamed the heck out of him if he didn't <laughs> land any though. That would have been real bad. Yeah. Um, so. It's just it's good to see, um, and but yeah, I'm I'm excited here, you know, Chris. While we're just like loading into the lobby and and getting kind of like the administrative side, um, like set up here. Do you think anything's gonna change this game? Do you think, you know, you think maybe Panic at the Top Hat's gonna think to go a more early game focused comp, or you think BP is gonna do the same? Um, what are your thoughts? It's a really tough call on the part of Evil. Um, because I think they have a lot of decisions to make about who to ban. Um, mm -hmm. I think their strategy is not a bad one. Uh, going for the late game strategy is never a terrible call because as long as you can stabilize at every point of the game, uh, you have that ability to... Oh, did I send the wrong link to some people? Fuck. Uh -oh. ah. Ripperoni, <laughs> pepperoni. Send that to, to Justin. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we have the pro draft ready to go, but. <laughs> um, Are they? Did they make a new one? I don't. I don't even know. I, 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 I got, got it all taken of care of, and I posted it in chat, and then yeah. So, oh, I'm not I guess in my lobby. perspective, I think Evil has to make that adjustment to decide who is your primary tank. And you have to leave room in your team for, I guess, a more AP burst um, character. Uh, you could, hell, you could even put Brand in the mid lane. Uh, you could do like Brand, Vigar. Um, obviously, the Ari was picked. Um, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I can, of course, invite you. Well, you, you, were, you were in the middle of talking. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. That's okay. Uh, no, not at all. You're good. You're good. Um, so. I think in general it is more of a draft scenario to answer your question i think they need to get an ap carry that has a lot of burst whether that means prioritizing mm -hmm. the mid lane and walking into a counter that could be fine um i think picking the vein first was a mistake um, especially with caitlin available uh, she's not in a terrible spot especially with constructed play um sorry that's my <laughs> magic the gathering <laughs> words coming in there um, ah, the classic organized right? team play versus <laughs> what the heck <laughs> um like, no i completely agree with you i don't really know why the van was picked first right um yeah i think i think actually a lot of their problems would have been solved if they had the caitlin right vane is such a short range adc you know yeah. she's looking for that 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 like 1v2 potential right knocking people into walls stunning them and stuff you know whereas with caitlin you're not held to that wall um constraint right if you can land a good trap if you have good mechanics you know pop traps in places on the map where it's really hard for the enemy to see them you know i think i think you could pop off and i really thought i you know i played with chad penguin on a team before where he did prioritize the caitlin and i gotta say he plays it very well and oh, so yeah. if I'm on the side of evil, I'm maybe looking at giving him Caitlyn. Um, another champion that comes to mind that's that's super busted right now that Riot just nerfed is Aphilios. And I think Aphilios, <laughs> I mean, he does kind of the same thing uh, depending on, you know, what guns he has, right? He has the long <laughs> range with his co Calabrium, I believe. And he has the, the short range uh, 1v2 potential with his Shurikens and stuff. And so I think... You know, if I'm Chad Penguin, and if I could play Aphilios, I'm looking at Caitlyn Aphilios this game. Um, trying to yeah. give my team some more long-range siege potential and long-range 
DPS in team fights and at neutral objectives. So um, that's my hot take. Hopefully it happens this game. Um, but we'll see. Um, is there a, a lobby? I am not sure what's going on with the pick ban. I set it up. I sent the links and... Is there like a a, a, a it's lobby not in the loading, client? I guess. Uh, my gosh, I don't know why that didn't set up right. We'll just try this again. VP game two. Okay, I'm gonna resend these. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pick ban call, link. Call. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think there's so many ADCs in the god tier right now that we didn't see that game. Oh, <laughs> Vayne is strong right now. Um, okay, I just no, got this an invite is from going Chad. to this. This is going to panic. Panic accepts my friend thingy, whatever. <laughs> Let's see if that pops. And then I will need it as well. Yeah, you bet. You get chance. Um. Oh, is that okay? That's okay. Um. Nice. Okay, it looks like the spec link worked for me. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what was happening with that game. Mm -hmm. Um. With uh, that particular thing, but okay, everyone's readied up. We're ready to go. Okay, let's get into this pick ban finally holy moly okay hey 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 there we go okay round um, two electric boogaloo <laughs> <laughs> pick oops ban. all of felios <laughs> like, <laughs> we see five bands coming in all of felios yeah they no. banned all of felios and they picked all of felios who could have guessed new game riot please the first three you made aren't working out <laughs> oh rip um <laughs> holy yeah, moly so we have the first band evil what on uh, earth is going on <laughs> i'm not sure we just got we're getting messages um pro draft is pro up. It's not, not working. working we can't click wait wait it's backwards. backwards uh no evil's on blue side this game oh you gave you gave the wrong team the wrong link did you give i mean i i don't know oh no you gave them the right links so i don't know what's going on very interesting what was your i mean first band? i try Wait. you know i've tried to provide no. commentary and stream and set up the pro draft no, <laughs> and chris, set it to chris, lethal no chris, chris you gave them the right one my dude I, no, I think I swapped it around. I think I gave, I well, might have the, the given one? BP. Like the first time it was right, but then they so, said it wasn't working. So I set it up again and then it's uh, okay. now not working. I don't know. The one you said for panic okay. is the blue one. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. It's said and done. It's fine. Someone else set it up finally. There you go. Take if you do something yordles. poorly enough, people will <laughs> just do it for you. <laughs> That's the moral here. <laughs> What's more with feeling? Not, try. not only that, Chris, but I want I want to touch upon something here. We have a Twitch chatter, Olive Purple, coming in <laughs> telling us to pick all Yordles for that delicious Yordle buff. You and know what? She couldn't I, be any more right. I really want to see that. I want to see some PMA LCS teams totally wreck with not <laughs> troll comps, but very strange comps. I want to see people really push the boundaries because I feel like we see a lot of uh same strategies appear granted mm -hmm. there is a meta strategy in place that is totally good and wonderful but i'm, I'm a <laughs> spicy boy i gotta have more than just you know rice in my diet um, right yeah you're you're from wisconsin I <laughs> feed mean, how me chorizos <laughs> i mean how, how spicier can you get you know with all that cheese so yeah yeah um, especially if you're lactose intolerant that that cheese gets way spicy right so here we go. We're in the pro draft. It seems to be working here. We have a Evelyn Yasuo ban coming in from Evil and a Morgana Vigar ban from BP and the Aurelia ban finalizing that first round of bans for Evil. 
I don't think BP is changing any of their bans this game. I'm unsure about Evil, though. Actually, yeah. I'm... <laughs> it's now that uh, I think looking about pretty it, I, similar. I think it's almost the... Everything's the same. Yeah. Um, which makes sense, right? We don't want Bear Jr. on the Yasuo. We don't want uh, Theatrix on the Evelyn. Um, and the Ari coming in for Evil... Um, that that is 100% going on panic at the top hat. That is a comfort pick for him. We saw BP pick it away uh, for this very reason, actually. So I'm hoping panic at the top hat could carry with it. It'd be really cool to see him pop off. Oh baby! Oh my God! It's that the Bear better... Junior Corky special. Oh my God! <laughs> I am so ready to. Orn, this hell yeah! With Orn oh my in God! The top lane. Just the Holy potential cow. of those two alone is amazing. I love what they're doing BP, already. BP doing doing something wacky game one comes in here game two and says, you know what? We're gonna make it wackier here. And they pick the corky. I just I wonder if it's gonna go mid or ADC. Probably mid, right? I I would imagine it's corky mid. Um I mean I played with Bear this week. He was trying it out, he was talking about it, especially with the new corky buffs. Uh, they're Ooh, minor, right. but boy, howdy. Uh, so <laughs> boy, now howdy. the package not only bumps people out of the way, but it slows them as well. Now, like that's two CCs and one ability. Riot, nerf that champion. He's busted. Uh, uh -huh. Caitlyn pick. That's okay. Wonderful comfort for evil. I love it. Thank you for picking up Caitlyn <laughs> and not first picking Vayne. <laughs> they must be stream sniping, or Chad might be learning from his mistake here. Caitlin Brom, very strong bot lane here pick. And I gotta, I gotta ask you, Chris, what's the potential of Orn going support this game? I'm gonna say low to none. Um, okay. I know okay. it's it's a thing. I know people do it. I I honestly, personally, especially with the Jinx, I don't think he provides what Jinx needs in the bot lane to have a successful time, especially. Jinx's laning phase is so-so. She's a pretty immobile ADC unless she gets chain kills. Um, so giving her, I, I'm i going to say it, a lackluster support is kind of asking to lose that lane. Um, it could be a sack lane to just say they're going to farm and get late game, but uh, that's that's my thought. <laughs> yeah, and it looks Jarvin. like that. Okay. Yeah, that blank... Ban is going to be for Jarvan here, and I think that makes sense. Kind of Menbung, it's a comfort pick for him. Um, he did have some really beautiful Jarvan alts, landing the the three four man Jarvan alt, which I think is really hard to do um, as a Jarvan player. It's it's um, it's very interesting ability because there's not really many like it. Mm -hmm. um, and so the Sajwani ban coming in for BP, Sajwani is always and probably will always be a very strong jungler she has a lot of lockdown um if you have a lot of melee champions on your team it helps proc that e or the the stun which actually works a lot like brahms passive so i and think that's a really blitz. good call okay yeah the ban the blitz ban very important here banning out the mvp gonna be interesting to see what he plays here oh my god is that so Soraka. I does Justin play Soraka? My guess is it's allergic to milk in the Soraka top lane. That's what I'm saying. Um, I mean that's that's why I, I I I had a feeling Orn might be going support or they were at least flexing it here. BP might be pulling the G2 strat going Soraka top, but I will say Soraka top only works if you do it the way G2 did it, right? You build the redemption like first or second item. You use her to heal um, the rest of your team to get like those second and third wind and team fights. Um, and so I think, you know, I've seen Soraka top where you don't build the redemption and you don't build any sort of healing and it just doesn't work. Right. So yeah. I think you need to, I, if, if, if it is allergic to milk or even if it's somebody else in that top lane, they really need to focus on getting those healing items here. As we have the Pantheon and Fiora coming in for Evil. It's interesting I, to see Evil yeah. do a complete 180 with their comp. Uh, mid lane is now uh, AP carry. Uh, we've got 
Pantheon in the jungle, so pretty standard for Menbung. A nice AD engage uh, jungler. Uh, Fiora in the top lane, so no longer a big old tanky boy. So Evil is kind of doing the inverse. They're they're playing more into the, okay, we need a bit more aggression on our team, and BP just tanking up, being like, okay, we'll, we'll be the tanks now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we see... Oh, and the Trundle coming in here. I believe that to... is Trundle support, if I'm not mistaken. Um, well, then, if it's... But if it's not Trundle jungle, who goes in the jungle? Uh, it could be Orn jungle, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so I, Soraka I don't jungle? Know. I got it. I, I don't think know. <laughs> I, I'm calling it right now. Oh, I'm Lordy. I'm calling it right now. Yeah. It's You're Soraka probably top, right. Yeah. Trundle jungle, Orn support, baby. And this is... I'm excited. Um, the real tilter would be if Corky went ADC and Jinx went mid, but I think that's a little too hot of a take, even if you are a spicy boy from yeah. Wisconsin. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a, that's, yeah, it starts to work against its spiciness at that point. You're, you're right. counteracting the spice with a lesser spice, you know, uh, you want to lean into the spice. You don't want to. <laughs> you're, you're counteracting the spice by <laughs> yeah. <antics>. yeah. <laughs> Basically. Uh. Like um, milk is acidic, yes, but if you're saying I'm eating spicy foods and I, I drink milk to uh, fight this or to add to the spice, like you're you're counteracting right. yourself, you know? Right? Yeah, yeah. You're doing the one thing you shouldn't be doing. Um, oh my gosh, there's yeah, so much milk gonna... talk happening on this stream. I can't handle it. <laughs> hey man, nothing, nothing wrong with a little milk, making those bones nice and sturdy. Yeah. Um, I gotta say though, I'm really excited to see when the actual picks come through. Um, not that we have any sort of like pick locking like some other leagues might have, um, but I'm just interested to see who's playing what, right? Um, you know, I don't know if it's your boy plays orange support. I don't know if uh, who who went top last game, clumsy chocobo. I don't know if clumsy chocobo plays Soraka top or orange top. So it's gonna be very interesting um, to see kind of. Who is actually playing where? Because, like, if it's Soraka support, Greg might be able to play that, you know? Um, yeah. Because I know, I think he does play Soraka. So I think, like, this is really, like, up in the air. Whereas, like, I feel with Evil, it's pretty, like, laid out. We kind of know where everybody's going. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, just the spice here. Okay, so we see, see it's your boy locking in the Soraka. Okay. So that's pretty so, standard. I think Soraka in the bot lane, Ch Clumsy Chocobo with the Orn in the top. That yeah, that's gonna work in their favor. Yeah. The Soraka poke uh, against a Brom can be a nightmare. Um, it really can be, but I gotta say, you know, as and I'm I'm not speaking for it's your boy, but as a support player myself, you know, after I come off a really good game as either a mage or a tank engage. It is really hard for me to play the exact opposite of that the next game, right? <laughs> like last game, we saw Justin on the Blitz Crank looking for those hooks, being a big, big tanky boy. And this game, we're going to see him poke out and heal his team. So those functions are two completely different ones, right? Um, and so it's going to be interesting to see if Justin could pull both of them off. Um and I, like I said, I haven't really seen him play that much Soraka, so I don't really know. Um, it could be lit. It could not be lit. Um, you know, <laughs> it really depends. You know, it tilts me so hard, Chris. And I, you're, you're you're an ADC player, so I wonder if you could sympathize with this. I hate it when I'm playing against a Soraka and my team doesn't focus her in fights. <laughs> yeah. I don't it's... know if you have that same resentment, but... I mean, for me, it's kind of like I should be the one focusing the Soraka if possible, or okay, like okay. Uh, the assassin should be focusing her. But also, I, it comes down to shot calling at that point. Like, um, right? Solo queue is just—it's a shit show anyway. <laughs> they can confirm. Uh -huh. Riot, please nerf solo queue. Um, I gotta say though, that kind of brings up my point into both of these comps, right? I think you know if Evil can land an req on the soraka and wipe it's your boy off the map i think that's going to be really detrimental right now mm -hmm. if soraka could hang in the back behind the trundle and the orn and just heal for his team 
I think it's game over for Evil, honestly. Evil has a really burst comp, right? So in essence, they're doing kind of the like like you said, the exact opposite of what they're trying to do. They're trying to do what BP did last game, yeah. right? And I don't, I think Soraka directly countered that. Um, she definitely does. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting. I will say that the the Caitlyn Brom though is such a strong lane, and dare I say it, might be a little bit stronger than. Soraka Jinx, just because I feel like Kalen Brom, it's very easy to execute. You know, the Brom just walks up, he auto cues, Kalen autos twice, and that person's stunned and probably dead because of the Kalen trap. Whereas, you know, Soraka Jinx, you gotta poke him out, you gotta land the chompers. You know, um, it's a little, it's just, I'm not saying it's not good, I'm just saying it's a little bit more difficult. Um, I would definitely say in the mid game, I think Caitlyn has to has to land the traps and the net yep. in order for her to have the damage she needs to win that early. And in order to get to that point, she has to chip down her opponents. So the Soraka actively countering Caitlyn's methods to securing those early kills, um, especially with a Pantheon, early ganks are not necessarily great unless he gets the drop on them. Mm -hmm. um i i guess i see it differently but that's just my perspective i think they're both valid points i mean you bring up great <laughs> great positionings at that at that point it's just kind of seems like a skill matchup yeah with the uh the lanes i honestly i haven't seen these lanes in like two years so <laughs> i don't even remember how they play like <laughs> yeah no i yeah i think a few years ago i was i was a little i was uh a little new boy very very low level league player new boy um i was yeah exactly so new boys think, be like <laughs> um you know it really just depends i will say something that i'm kind of shocked about is the double tp on evil i think this is a, a game where you gotta go the double ignite because of the soraka um again i mean also, I don't really know how I feel about Pantheon Jungle, if I'm being quite honest. Um, Pantheon Jungle was, like, a thing, like, whenever he got reworked, because he was just, like, way over tuned. Big thighs. And, and now that his big <laughs> thighs have, you know, he went on a little diet, and he, he's kind of trimmed down a little bit. I think it's not as good as it was. Like, if, if Panic at the Top Hat was playing Pantheon, I think it would be a little bit different. Yeah. Um, I don't... I, I think I would have wanted uh, Membung on something else, um, more similar to the Jarvan, um, because he just did such a great job. You know, there's nothing wrong with with being a front line. You know, I've never heard of a uh, of anybody complain about having too many tanks on a team because typically when that happens, uh, you could just peel for your AD and then you just wipe everybody because you're unkillable. Um, typically, you know, uh, so I don't know. Um, you know, Chris, who do you think takes game two? Uh, you know, does BP here end the week 2-0 or do we see the 1-1? Um, I think this fight looks a lot more even across the board. Um, I think based on how they drafted evil drafted a lot better this game for what bp does i think bp drafted a lot smarter obviously game two both teams coming in with a lot more information about what happened in game one what did they try you know we might have faced them in the preseason so we might see a little bit of what they do or remember what they did last time um i think you're very right with the re not having that ignite seems like a, a little bit of a mistake but it could just come down to skill so I, I'm going to definitely vote for BP in this second game because they showed us in game one that with a strong early game, they can win the skill matchup into the mid game. Um, so game two, I'm just going to go with the same people, honestly. <laughs> I think uh, in an even playing field, I give it to BP. Yeah, you know, I think when I look at the actual players on BP... You know, we have we have It's Your Boy, Clumsy, Gerg, Theatrix, and Bear Jr. And like I said, I think Bear Jr. is one of the better players in the league, if not the best one. And so he's a little bit up there. Yeah, uh he I think he peaked what in his master promos last season. 
Um, you know, he is a definitely, I think he is like the highest ELO player in our league. Um, I'll, I'll pause at 10 seconds. So I don't really know. It really depends. There have been games where he doesn't pop off, right? And so I think, you know, he is typically on champions that allow him to do that. Like we saw last game with Illusion. Uh, I haven't seen his Corky play. Um, you know, Chris, I don't know if you want to go a little bit, if you want to dive a little bit deeper in that, if you like saw it hands on, but, um, <laughs> I mean, there's not too much to Corky. Uh, he's, uh, okay. I'm, I'm paused at 10, three, two, one, go. Nice. Um, okay. Corky really is just an alt machine. Um, it, it's all about landing those alts <laughs> and, uh, uh, using that package effectively. So I think Bear is a very intelligent league player. He spends a lot mm -hmm. of time focusing on a, a lot of <laughs> a lot of both mechanical, situational, like he knows what we saw a lot of dashes forward last game that were just so calculated. So I think Corky, he's going to abuse the crap out of the team with Corky. Yeah, and I I really couldn't agree with you more, right? Um and and that's kind of where I was going right he he's playing mid um you know you could argue that this is one of mid right now is the most influential lanes in the game just because it has that roaming potential there's a lot of pressure if you get that mid lane tower uh, yeah right tower down gave it early. an experience buff <laughs> so, oh wait really yeah they, they nerfed bot experience <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and right, then they nerfed yeah, so, and then they buffed jungle experience after they nerfed it and it's like yep so yeah, I, like, I, I hard to agree with you. <laughs> it's like it's like Rick See, Gurk seven uh, shilling for Chad Penguin's sc stream. <laughs> oh god, we see a little 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 friendly banter coming in from both teams. I just want to give a quick PSA, everybody. Memeing, whether it's funny or not, will not be tolerated <laughs> in this group. I just want to give a you little know... throwback to like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like that uh, both teams ap appear to be pretty laid back about this enough to be, you know, joking and chatting uh -huh. and stuff. Um, I think I, I, I like really to see a lot of that, especially if it's not in a, a setting where someone like gets a kill and then like tea bags or like flash spam taunt. <laughs> like there's a, a lot of things you could do that are not necessarily great uh, that aren't really right. perceived as funny. But uh, yeah, pretty standard start by both teams. A little bit of fun dance in the mid lane, but not uh not too much interesting. We see a full bot side clear from Trundle. Not a full top side clear from Pantheon, though. He went Gromp and is going buff to buff. Um, I don't um, know if he gets level three off of that anymore. I uh, am even with the buffs. I'm actually not sure. I, I want to find out here so I don't have to, like, you know, find that out on my own. We see yeah. the level two coming in for bot, though, and it looks like, yep, that stun going through here. And that's what I'm talking about. I mean, you know, boss stones being able to walk up land those abilities um and get that stun i mean it's really that that is how that caitlin brahm win that matchup right um mm -hmm. so we'll see i think the later it goes the more you're gonna have to prioritize the soraka oh my god the orange just eating yeah, up I do all find the damage that, uh, it, it, for me at least it seems like it comes down to a skill thing chad penguin has played so much caitlin he's very familiar uh gerg is not that familiar on Jinx, just in the amount oh, of time played. But Bear uh, Jr. coming up top, allergic to melt, getting the first blood oh, going back in. I thought she was inting. Exclamation point, Joe in the chat. You hate you to, hate see, to that. see it, folks. Oh, oh no. my god. <laughs> Spicy way to start off game two here. I am pumped. My blood is rushing through my veins here. You know what? And, that and... registered on my spiceometer um, back home in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, no. The charm <laughs> coming through. Membung looking for the gank. But the are running straight at both of them, saying, you cannot get my Corky today. He's going to take a lot of damage. I don't think. Oh, wait. Charm. A minute, the charm. Flash the flash. is blown. Oh, and Membung gets the kill onto the who was, in my opinion, being a little too aggressive. But again, hindsight is 20 20. Um, I did want to say, though, before that fight, Corky, that roam. We talked about Bear Jr. playing the Corky, you know, with and, and appealing to its strengths and going for that early roam up. I thought it was really special. 
both bot lanes landing their roots, doing what both bot lanes do best. A little bit more damage coming out for Gurk7 and Into Boy because Soraka is doing Soraka things already at level 3. Um, man, that, that healing feels so bad right now. Um, if I was Chad or Boston's, just not feel <laughs> well. And can we talk about how allergic to Melk is two levels up? And doing already? a really good double, uh, maybe 2.5 wave crash in the top lane. He uh, worked that lane really well. Uh, yeah, Might that even was get a back insane. off of that if he wants it, but it's a little early for that. Um, he's currently sitting at 470 gold, so not really anything to back worthwhile about. Blue is teleport to get back to lane after that first blood. Yeah, exactly. After you blow that teleport, you really want to prioritize, you know, farming and just wave management, right? Because you, you use the teleport already, so you can't just back for a quick buy and TP back to lane. Also, you know, he after that first or second teleport, you really want to start using that, that teleport more for TP plays or for Baron pressure, right? You want to be able to split push, like, in bot or mid, um, and have the guarantee to TP back if there is a fight in that neutral objective, whether it's Baron or Dragon. Um, so hopefully uh, Allergic to Melk can prioritize using that TP correctly, and I think he can here. Ooh, we got a little fight again. Clumsy Chocobo taking a lot of damage from the minions and an excellent parry coming in. Allergic to Holy Melk going cow. in at 20 HP, folks. That Triumph Greed was so calculated. Kill. Oh that was beautiful. My God, why was it allergic to milk on your last game? I don't it know. Just... I think it. Uh, it was a you call. Know... They picked Mordekaiser third, so they were really leaning into that particular comp. Ah, uh, that yeah. But wow, very good. I'm really proud that he's able to punish the Orn like that here. We have a little fight here. Mengbung might be caught out going for a little little greed here. Bot lane is going to come up, though. Chad Penguin coming in for the heal, but it's not enough here. Looks like he's going to go down. We have the trap coming Holy in. Holy moly. Old traps landing here, but Bear Jr. is going to flash over the charm. He is very low on mana here, but it looks like Chad is still going to go down to Bear as everybody except for Soraka is super low on mana, but I think this is going to be a, a Drake here going over to BP. That is the nice thing about Corky is he has his ult is very low cost because he gets so many projectiles to throw. Um, he can, even at low mana, regen enough up to get those bombs. And if it's the big one, um, it's it's pretty good for him. It's a nice situation oh, to be in. Oh, no. We were giving so much praise to Fiora here, and it got to her head going on an, a full HP Orn that has Grasp of the Undying and his ultimate still up, and Ninja Tabbies, by the way. And a um, Corrupted Arian. Potion. <laughs> yeah, it just, I don't yeah, think that was the right for play. Him. Yep. Um, Blue going to go down to Bear Jr. here. I think that's the right call. You really want that Corky now to be spam pushing, shoving, doing some wave clear, and landing some great roams here. Medbung again going so deep in his enemy jungle. Um, not really sure if that's the move right now, as it's still super early in the game. Um, it's nice to bring that pressure, but I think, you know, when I think about Membug and Theatrics in the league, you know, they're both on that high elo end when it comes to our league, and especially when it comes to junglers, right? They're both plat plus, um, and so they know each other very well here. The smite, not going to come in time, though, and as I am, I'm giving him... Praise here. Theatrics is going to be solo. Package coming in. Oh, oh my god. Bug's no. still landing. The kill. He was out but and he, he walked has back. To go down for it as well here. Wow. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh. You do hate to see it, but you know what you love to see? That quirky package. Using that pack. <laughs> Phrasing. So. <laughs> oh. Every, everything's a dick joke here in PMA LCS, guys. It is. Um, I'm addicted anyway, to it. <laughs> you're addicted <laughs> to them. Um, anyway, That's buns for you. <laughs> um, Men so, buns. Oh, I, I turned my volume on my headset all the way up here. We have another 1v1 on the top lane. Clumsy Chocobo, knowing he does enough damage, 
here the, the healing from conqueror holy oh cow oh my god <laughs> and the alt at the end to survive the tower shot really good mechanics coming out to allergic to milk here um and again i gotta say he's he's picking those calculated fights i gotta say i think that one he died in holy moly well, oh my god the brom flash right onto the chompers here gurk seven flash healing i don't think it's gonna work out into his favor though the enemy team walking away from the jinx because they knew she was dead to that ignite here and going down to menbun that is a three kill pantheon ladies and gentlemen getting really far ahead here and if i'm bp that is the last thing i want right because he will be able to keep doing what he's doing just alting from you know halfway across the map and oh wait a minute is bear jr looking for this fight here holy moly oh boy can we talk about how clean that pillar was it's your boy landing the ultimate here but it's not going to be enough he goes down as well theatrix desperately trying to get the dragon he flashes away allergic to melt saying you know what i'm gonna go back in but it's not gonna be enough he does not not able to kill the trundle who is full hp what a flash flash is being blown yeah you imagine uh, so boss tones use both summoner spells and alt to kill the jinx well tried to but then secured it later and right. they still lost dragon that's gotta hurt that is a it tough does, situation <laughs> but they lost dragon i mean we if we had replays this would be so awesome to show <laughs> trundle pillar the i think it was chad penguin and boss stones yeah or it was either panic and chad he pillared them into the jinx rocket right so maybe it wasn't you know i think the jinx alt was still gonna land but the pillar just secured it because they yeah. couldn't walk away from it right uh because they were knocked up and so it was just such a super clean play executed from bp and that's the kind of stuff we're talking about right theatrics here 1v1ing membung popping the alt trying to steal some of his stats here and i think it might work oh the uh, ram the knock up and the ram slowing him down but Menbung still having his ult but fiora trying to return gank i think fiora's gonna go down she doesn't yes she does one for one as of right now here clumsy chocobo trying to get away but the brahm son coming through brahm is solo the double knockup corky doing corky things gonna kill the pantheon for orin's life here now bear jr he's desperately looking for boss stones and panic at the top hat the charm gonna miss the stopwatch being popped bears golden gonna flash the passive the passive goes down oh the jinx tragic shutdown ari. goes to so ari tragic oh my god i'm sitting at the edge of my seat these jinx alts have been so on point this game <laughs> wow you know we we Someone talked get about Gerg seven a raise that's what i'm saying we promotion talked about justin's hooks could we talk about jinx's rockets my god very good um it's an interesting alt from caitlin i don't know if that was a fat finger if that was intentional um you know i think it was just to poke down the soraka the cooldown on it is not super long, and there probably won't be another team fight before. Yeah, it's already a quarter of the way through its cooldown, uh, so I think it's okay to use it like that. Um, you might as well. It just kind of forces Soraka and Jinx back because Soraka is half health, and thankfully she can't heal herself unless she alts herself right. So I think it's it's an okay way to use it. Maybe not the best though. We see a Triforce coming down for Bear, still working on that cull, but has enough gold to fully invest 6,000 gold on Bear alone. Um, they're not up as much gold as they were last game. Obviously, their comp is a bit more mid to late game oriented. Uh, get that Jinx hyper carry going, tank oh, through it, with CC. Oh, no, the Corky package pushing Menbung away from his team. Menbung super low, but still going down to the Corky because he has Triforce now. And that's going to be a one for nothing. And I think Rift is actually going to be the call here. 
Boston's getting caught out on the trap bot lane. Um, don't think anything's going to happen, though, here. Like I said, I think Rift would be the call or a kill on the Fiora. Not sure why Fiora's going up. Oh, now I know why. Because Ari's there. The Soraka ult coming in, but it's not enough. Goes down. Looks like oh. Kenny <laughs> Top Hat is desperately trying to damage Corky. Healing so far back, doing his job. We see a shutdown on the Jinx. We don't know why, though. And it looks like Orn is going to go down as well here. And that's, yep, going to be a nice, easy cleanup here for Bear Jr. Bear Jr. doing Bear Jr. things. And again, I wish we had replay so we could see what happened in this bot lane fight here. But if I had to say, Jinx probably got overextended. Menbung fiending for this kill here. The stun coming through, positioning himself in front of the Corky. So the Corky would have to walk around him because and, and, he can't walk through him here. The Q coming in. Oh, he doesn't cast it. The stun. Just jumps for it. Still gets the shutdown here, and he won't go down for that. That's a one for nothing. Very good catch out from our boy Membung. Will we um, see the I jinx say, I don't know. I think it's a little too late. <laughs> I would it send it. <laughs> if I was Jinx, I would only oh, be man. ulting when I know for sure it's going to make a really <laughs> cool play. <laughs> um, you know, we've <laughs> we're two yeah. for two on those. Oh Boss God. Stones and Chad Penguin here coming in for the flank though on this dragon. I don't think they will be able. Yep, goes down to red team. Mumbung solo, questionable engage as he goes down. Clumsy Chocobo getting the knockup onto the Fiora. Soraka desperately trying to heal Clumsy. Oh my god, saving his life for the cost of his own Clumsy, and it's your boy going down. Wait a minute. Bear Jr. wasn't there for the fight. No, it's uh, very tragic. Was not there for the fight, but also the team split 50-50. Uh, they weren't able to lock down any real targets other than keeping Menbung off the objective. Um, I suppose the Infernal is a net gain for a team with a Corky and a Jinx. That's a lot of scaling damage. Um, like The Corky is going to feel great in the, oh mid -late, in the mid game. Jinx is going to pop off later. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh... speaking of feeling great, that damage Bear Jr. has. Ooh, it looks like Allergic to Melk is looking for Bear Jr. He's going to go in. Kaelin Alt coming in. Not going to be enough um, to really do anything. Um, just to poke him out. Um, but I think Corky holds this fine. He has really good wave clear, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, Chris, I think you're right. Um, I think Infernal might be a net gain if you look at it with, you know, the scaling stats. Um, and it gives you one more dragon closer to Dragon Soul, right? Last game, unfortunately, didn't go that long for Dragon Soul to be something that was, um, you know, in play. But I think, you know, it's nice to have that as kind of like a trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? It's nice just to have it there. You know, in case I, it yeah, does I think for a win condition, long. BP's definitely looking for that uh, Elder Drake or even Soul. It really doesn't matter for them. Like, their team's going to scale into the late game a lot better uh, mm. than Evil, in my opinion. I think Pantheon falls off, Fiora falls off, Ari falls off, Caitlyn falls off. Like, once they get past 30 minutes, uh, I think we're going to start to see some really explosive fights from BP. But until then, I think they, they're just securing those Drakes getting closer to elder right yeah it's so so busted right now too regardless if you're a late game you know scaling team or not i i've been a part of teams and i've seen it happen for my very eyes where uh you know a, a dragon soul really can sway uh the game or teams could sometimes over prioritize it to a point where they just kind of int for it and then they lose the game off of that one dragon play, right? So I think, you know, it's very it's very interesting. I'm actually really happy with the change. I, I like it a lot. TP coming in from, it looks like Corky. Uh, Trap is going to land on top of him. If I am BP right now, I would focus. Oh, my God. The Wundle. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Right into Menbung and goes down, getting poked out here. Because he aggroed the tower here. Now Soraka flashing away, but has an ignite onto her here. And she goes down as well. They're looking for Bear Jr. here, who's going to desperately try to poke out Panic at the top hat. And deters them long enough to get away. Wow. Evil also having that 
global pressure of getting that tier 2 bot tower down. That's going to be really important here when Baron becomes a, an objective that can be fought over, actually, in my opinion. Um, you know, having that Orn to now respawn bot gives them a lot, a lot of extra pressure. Holy moly. Wait, the corky damage, though. <laughs> Holy shoot. I mean, yeah, Kate's low, and she's just asking to get ulted if she's going to walk up that far. Oh, my God. The double flashes. Membung super low here. Ornhorn coming out. The Fiora ult is saving. Oh, wait. She didn't ult, actually. Just the life steals kind of busted. It looks like Ari's going to have to flash as well. The Jinx ult landing three for three, folks. And that is a Baron at spawn for BP. They're they're going straight for it, clearing vision. Yeah, I think that's the call. I mean, they have everybody up. They have Corky. They have Jinx. They could take it super fast. Um, and, yeah, it's super important yeah, to get that early Jinx Baron. Jinx currently sitting on 2,000 gold. Corky sitting on 2,400. Oh. God, that could very well be a bloodthirster for evil. Corky. That could be, you know, probably a zeal for Jinx with uh with uh what is it called? No, <laughs> Whatever energized. the little energized stick is, Corky's shard. Some yes, yeah, something like that. Corky's shard. Corky shard. <laughs> Corky no, shard. that's his Triforce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so got some good Corky pressure though. in the top lane on the side of BP. That's probably gonna knock down that turret. Depending on uh, so? how the old RNG close. shakes down with that second wave, I really do. I gotta say, I really do like the call coming in from Evil though. They they know that if if BP gets the Drake, that is the third one for them, and that just sets up BP for that Dragon Soul, right? So I think by taking that, they you know they kind of ho are holding off the inevitable right now. Bear Junior gonna get engaged on, but he's gonna back away. Does not want to 1v1 the Fiora yet. Not worth it. They have Baron buff. They're just looking to try to knock down some towers, right? Baron buff, super OP for pushing lanes because that's that's what the buff does. So, yeah. You know, Chris, I got to say, Fiora's split pushing bot now. Do you think this is the right call here for, for BP? Or do you think they should just, like, five-man push down mid? Well, I think they have to look for those moments to push the side lanes and maintain pressure because they can't push against Baron. Uh, with their team, they can't, unless they're all grouped together and A-ramming, um, there's just a lot of pressure with the Baron buff on the champion as well as the minions to... You, you have to respect it. So Fiora's mm -hmm. looking for those opportunities to create a little side pressure, you know, push out the wave, get some CS, back away politely. <laughs> they... They have okay. just playing around those Baron timers, staying alive as best they can. I mean, the next dragon isn't up for a while. <laughs> and uh, obviously, Baron's not up for a while. So they just have to kind of play safe. Keep the vision oh, line up. Oh, no. The look for picks. getting caught out by the GLP from Ari here. Goes down. Um, and that's like the second or third time in this game where I feel like Theatrix has kind of overstuck his boundaries. Again, you know, we, we just talked about Chris about how BP has this Baron. They should be pressuring the side lane, um, you know, and Theatrix is in the jungle for some reason. He has his Krugs up. He could help Orn push or help Jinx Soraka mid. Um, yeah, and I, I think, think that was looking the for the side uh, just to make sure that they weren't getting flanked mid. Uh, with the vision that BP had, Fog of War-wise, they didn't have the ability to see if they were getting flanked oh, by okay. a three-stack or a four-stack, which would be a really good play to kind of catch them out on the tail end. So him taking that route, is it's, I would say it's like an 80-20 play where he just got right. punished on the 20% chance that they're there waiting to punish him. But they get bot turret out of it, which is pretty nice, and they have top pressure as well. They knock that down too. Mm -hmm. Right. I think this is the point where now they look to 4-1 or 5. Oh, yeah. Here comes you the know, dive. And, and, yep, Baron's timed goes. out. <laughs> um, it looks like they're focusing the tower, though. Um, and the TP's coming in, Soraka alt and Pantheon alt coming in here. Uh, so now it's a 5v4 here as Bosstones died in that fight and, and just went down super fast. Very unfortunate here. I do think that BP should try to get not this turret down. They have to, I mean, I don't know if you consider Corky an ADC, but they have a lot of range and siege potential here. And I think they can, can do it if they focus it. 
Um, but obviously, I think that's a little bit more risky of a play. So, um, and they, they lost that side lane pressure. Corky needs to go and respond to that wave bot. Um, you know, not only yeah, to catch say either the farm, him or Orin can sit in that side lane and shove pressure. Uh, we still have like a solid. 230 yeah 230 till the next dragon which would mm -hmm. only be third dragon for bp i i think they're just trying to keep the pressure and and play it you know just slow because <laughs> again right uh evil is on a clock uh they have to create something um because if they hit that 30 minute mark and they don't have elder or they don't have soul or baron uh they're in a very tough spot oh no the double knockup right onto the choppers here so that's what they're looking Pantheon. for here with that but turret i oh i don't know orn here goes unstoppable here we have a 1v1 top lane just kidding 2v1 where did fiora go <laughs> getting insta popped by the corky i guess holy cow um very good roam by bear jr i think he tp'd into that fight here and now it looks like here panic at the top hat looking for a flank but the zap gonna poke him out, deter him away for going here. And I oh, think I was looking is... at the wrong indicator. My apologies. That was a red buff timer I was looking at. Drags up in twenty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Yeah. Um, but I gotta say, theatrics being on the top side of the map, not the best call in my opinion. Knowing that this is third Drake, is very important. Yes, well, he's on I his think way he down. Has, he he is running down now, but still, um. I don't know. And I think with the top pressure, mid pressure that they have, he kind of has that luxury. BP has control of the map right now right. for the objective. Um, it's kind of a horse apiece, but I agree. I, I think junglers should be, you know, bot side of the map if Dragon's going to be up in 30, uh -huh. top side of the map anytime else. Like, that's just right. kind of jungler 101, which I'm not a jungle main. Um, I'm merely taking it at a purely macro situational everything changes always oh so. my god bear jr clenching another caitlin all just coming out of nowhere well um, i will say bear jr walked right into menbung and i think um one of them was in the bush and the other one wasn't so i i think menbung wasn't oh no. able to land bear, root. check it oh, yes run oh no he checked it <laughs> menbung doing a lot of getting a lot of damage taken holy though holy moly Fiora, gonna be Stop exhausted the corky. oh my god oh corky, what is this damage she's just so strong That's two crit That's items a plus a crit kill. cloak plus oh, trinity no, force wait a minute. baron's Jungle up boys gonna be alone i'm gonna oh. be able to hold off the fight the tp from panic the top hat coming in i don't know if they're gonna be able to hold off this baron call though um because everybody from BP is up right now, and they don't have vision of it. Um, Clumsy Chocobo going to get kind of chunked out. Not really, though. The charm landed on Corky. This might be what they need. Boston's Flash Alting, very questionable coming in from him, in my opinion. Don't know if Flash Alting was the play, but already doing so much damage to poke out BP here. Both teams, I don't think, are able to do the Baron now. Um as both teams are probably going to clear out vision and reset for that Baron. Yeah, really good job on the part of Evil. Um, I think looking forward to the next 10 minutes of this game, I think these dragons are very good for them. If they're able to contest every dragon, I, I think Baron is a lot of pressure. But if they're able to set up for these next drakes and get soul, that will keep them in the game. Mm -hmm. I think Mountain Drake, especially for their comp, um, it provides some more bulkier stats that's going to keep them relevant into the late game. Um, we need to see a third item from Kate's stat. <laughs> Looks like she's building right. Infinity Edge, um, which is fine. It's a pretty standard build. You know, you go Storm Razor into uh, usually Energize item. Rapid Fire Cannon is OP because range. Uh, classic. It's got that nice executioner's calling for the trundle, for the orn, for the raka. It's it's a very good standard build. Um, I'm, I I just can't get over the Kate alts, honestly. I <laughs> I I love Chad, yeah. but I you gotta hit me with something better. You know, just like I, I mean, throwing these alts left at, and right. 
when you look at the Kate alts versus the Jinx alts this game, and I got it, I got one hundred percent give it to Jinx. I mean, some of these alts have been very flawless here, and it looks like BP is starting the Baron. I think they're trying to do it to bait out. Yep, Ornhorn coming in here. Oh, but is going to be landed on the Brom who blocks it entirely. Soraka all coming in, healing his entire team. Allergic Melt going down too, like a toothpick here. Panic of the Top Hat goes down as well. Boston, or Membung, excuse me, is by himself for that double kill on the court. Here's here. the call Baron or end? Question mark. Where is Caitlyn? Actually, Honestly, that's. I think they could just end it here. They have everybody is up from their yeah, team. Yeah, 30 second they timers. They can go for inhib and then relax to take the Baron like at their own leisure. That's that's a huge play. They did a really good job of fighting front to back in that fight. Jinx in the mm -hmm. pocket in the back. Fiora couldn't get to her. Pantheon couldn't get to her. Ari couldn't get to her. Braum couldn't get to her. Corky sitting in the background just picking people off. I mean, if you have a 15 and 2 Corky, uh, that is so much damage. Right. That's where you want him to be, right? Just just sniping people with his alts um, or with with that Q, insta-popping people. And like you said, we see some really classic fundamental League of Legends coming through here. BP knows that the inhib is down. They can see kind of rotations, which, lane pe which lanes people are going to. They see three people running down mid, and they're like, you know what? We're just going to take the Baron for free. And evil Easy. pinging this dragon, Easy. which I know I said they need to prioritize it, but I don't think with open inhib mid and Baron pressure that this is a good fight for them any way you stack oh, it. Good Brahma, though. Oh, wait a minute, though. though. That is a fantastic but... Brahma. But Fiora isn't there. Yeah, and Brahma just goes down again. It's very unfortunate. Fiora played this game so well in the early game, and now it's just very squishy jinx alt again didn't kill panic at the top half but landed here the charm coming down to the corky who is dead this might be it no it's not just kidding ornhorn coming in Munbung getting his ga popped here the chompers gonna come through and root him he can't do anything very unfortunate spot and i think this is the game here a very nice very clean 2-0 week coming for bachelor party here very proud a lot of good ultimates a lot of good fundamental league of legends coming in here and i'm just very proud of what i saw this game both teams you know duked it out did their best but bp had that slight edge here gg wp bachelor party yeah that was an excellent game um especially i mean looking at damage <laughs> oh i'm not even there yet oh i cannot wait a corky top damage hands down like who <laughs> who would have doubted that um who but even thought? just look at the disparity of the damage between corky and anyone else on his team bear jr doing work especially Oops. with the triforce proc on a caster adc uh, you just have a lot of opportunities to deal great burst damage and your ult is so low mana and so uh, short of a cooldown that you can just blast those. Uh, we have the MVP poll for game two. I'm going to toss that in the chat so we can get interviews over and done with ASAP because it's late. I know people got stuff going on. Um, so there's the straw poll. Let us know in the chat who you think was the MVP for game two. My personal votes for Bear, but uh, who's yours, Joe? You know, I think if you don't give it to Bear, you're kind of trolling. Um, <laughs> the the man did almost two times. Well, I guess Panic did about the same amount of damage. But if you if you exclude Panda, you know Bear did substantial amount of damage this game. He had some really good quirky packages that would cut off the enemy team from the rest of the team. We saw just him insta popping people with his Q. Um, his CS difference was pretty good. And I think just all around, you got to give it to him. You know, when I look at the Trundle, Trundle had a pretty okay game. When I look at the Orn, Orn had a pretty okay game. Soraka killed a bunch of people. Okay game. Jinx. Yeah, Gerg had another fantastic game. Holy cow. I think, I think he had a great game. He landed like three really awesome Jinx ultimates. But I don't think it's enough God, I've said that probably like a hundred times, and I can't stop saying it. But I, I, I think 
something else needed to be done on top of those jinx alts to win the MVP vote for me. Um, they were really clean. Well, it what else would you awesome. say in Jinx's kit would uh, give you that vote? I'm just curious. I think if I saw some like like one v two potential or something, I don't know. But but then again, you know, Gert had some really good positioning this game. He 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 didn't do any frontline jinx, jinxing. He didn't do any any one v two just to one v two. You know what I'm saying? Like he did a really good job of sticking with his support, and his support did a really good job of sticking with him. And so that's what I'm saying with this team, right? Everybody yeah. this game did their jobs, but I think you know, kind of like Justin with getting MVP in game one, I, I'm giving it to Bear because he did not only do his job he did it so well it just destroyed evil in my opinion i mean he was just doing so much damage had a lot of pressure consistently pushing out the mid wave roaming you know i just think he played really well that game so yeah, i'm gonna give it to him course. but let us know who you think gets mvp here vote 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 we got six votes in we have 15 people watching you can vote if you played in the game like go for it just let us know just vote 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 because i mean both joe and i voted it's a hands down it's a fact oh yeah 100 percent. but I definitely voted i'm definitely not opening up twitch i'm definitely not scrolling <laughs> i'm definitely not waiting Holy for chris moly. to post it again in the chat for me why would i do that i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh you're Can killing you post me. it in the chat? Why? You already <laughs> voted. You can't vote twice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just for that, I'm going to post the game one one instead. Oh, no, don't. don't do that. <laughs> well, get okay. Bear. So game one MVP was your boy with the Blitzcrank hooks. Game two MVP was Bear Jr. Also, let's get team captain. Uh, I believe it's Panic at the Top hat in here, please. Um, and um, we are, we'll move down to oh. uh, player of the game, and also oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, so yeah, we'll have we'll have uh, Bear and Zee Boy and uh, Panic and uh, player of the game one. See you there. And we're back. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> so wow, let's see. let's adjust this. It's, yeah, yeah, boy. Uh, game two, Dairy Bear Jr. Do I come in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo. Well played, man. Those are some fantastic Corky plays. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I like Corky got buffed recently. It feels really <laughs> He's nice. He's so strong. Like, you were doing so much damage. Oh, my yeah. God. I was watching Fiora's health just disappear. Like, wait. <laughs> She has the thing is, he does like seventy percent like AP as well, and yeah. you can build him like this. Right, you you got crit, and then you're also dealing. So there's no damage. itemization that's good against him, really. I guess gargoyle stone plate. Yeah, or like death stance, might help a little bit, but. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So like, really, they I don't know, and she's he's safe with the Valkyrie, so like the only way they kill me is with the uh, chain CC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Is your wow. boy coming? Do you know if Justin's on his way at all? What do you mean? Uh, what? There oh, he is! Hey, I didn't even hear he you is. beat boops. <laughs> God, there's the Blitzcrank one trick that we all know and love. <laughs> oh my Yoink. God. Just kidding. <laughs> wow. Yo, is is Panic see? coming over? Panic at the top hat, come on up into the chat. Just send him a message or. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Come up to page. My sides. <laughs> Thanks for casting, huh? Yeah, Yo, absolutely. dude, it was a lot of fun, man. Yeah, how'd you like casting. our pig bands? Why am I here? Because <laughs> it's team captain. Thanks, guys. Yeah, like right. we want to get your takes too, and you know, both team captains, player of the game here. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll start off with the first MVP, uh, Justin, it's your boy, game one. Uh, going into this week, how did you guys prepare for this match? Was there anything particular you did to prepare for this? Oh, nothing? What was your strat? Uh, we 
we logged on today about a couple hours before and that's that okay we, we, we practiced during the week so that. <laughs> That's fine. You're coming in. <laughs> to, to, to be honest, like our team doesn't get to. Play <laughs> like we just that logged often. on today. Like oh. we've been playing. Like well, it's just not. It's sporadic. It's as, not like as, as five, we don't get to play together often, just because our schedules don't really yeah, align. Yeah. Very true. Often. Um. So, to get together at least on these game days is is really 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 nice. Um. But for really, we've just been grinding Apex Legends. <laughs> that and yep. Smash, right? <laughs> the skills are transferable. Yeah, totally. The skills are trans. That's why I played Lucian. It was like I had to play the shooter. <laughs> okay, so uh, next question going over to Panic. So we saw a change from team composition. Game one seemed like a very late game oriented team comp. Game two was more mid game oriented. Um, why did you make those particular changes coming into game two? What were your thoughts in that pick ban? Um, we kind of just lost, um, I think set of ourselves in, in the first team comp. Um, I think that like we wanted to play safe and be able to, uh, scale, but outside of the, uh, Jarvan, we didn't have a ton of engage and he didn't, that champion didn't necessarily blend into our comp super well. We were just all kind of reactive and we felt like we needed to be, a little more aggressive in our picks and we wanted to center around the bot lane um yeah we just wanted to pick a better bot lane uh and give them our advantage because typically our team has picked around mid and top when our strongest players are on bot so it doesn't make sense that we that teams just constantly as you know sean kind of pointed out um we are being banned bot lane in the first round and then when we first pick it we just let them get countered so uh, we were trying to really just get away from that yeah well, it looks like you guys really played well in the first game like stabilizing with that late game comp um i mean you guys played really well but i think the early the early comp that pb had vp wow <laughs> pb peanut butter that's your new team name <laughs> um <laughs> the the early comp they had they really leaned into that and it worked out really well for them uh joe do you have any questions for mr dairy bears um not really i mean i was gonna ask you about that corky pick but you kind of answered it um when you hopped in here um you know he's listed as a counter for re2 i just if you go to ugg <laughs> it's like second. you're just looking up oh shit <laughs> <Counters are>. okay <laughs> That's cool. um, I mean, like, I honestly fair. do that every single solo queue game. I do that, so like, I, I'm in a habit of doing it. So like, yeah, uh, I, like I play more of a counter mid style unless I get my main champs. Is, like, is that why you picked Lucian game one? Uh, I I couldn't think of a champs, and I was wanted to play AD, so I just I I thought of him prior to the. I was thinking maybe playing Lucian, because I've seen it's been a it's been a ban like perma pick or ban in in pro play almost like eighty percent mm -hmm. presence. Um. Okay. So it's this is it, correct. Like Demonte's been playing it, Faker's been playing it. Like all, all the major mid laners have been picking it up. So like I just thought it was good. I I play it too. Like I played it versus Lugo last week. So it's oh or, okay. not last week, but the week the one of the games. But it, like I'm comfortable on the champ. Cool. Awesome. Um, I'm not seeing any real questions in chat other than Greg <laughs> saying that he is. <laughs> He, he he won like four Apex games today, so that that was his prep. We did. We were killing it in Apex. That, that's why he landed those incredible Jinx alts because he, oh, he was very warm, you know, playing Apex. <laughs> right? We saw a he lot was, of really he cool was playing things sniper. across the board today. Um, saw that Mord uh, Baron Steel with the Zonias was incredible. <laughs> like from allergic to oh, yeah. that was just an insane play. So I was, um, so I was putting in work today. Yeah, Vlad stole. Baron. Holy cow! Uh, yeah, I stole Baron, yeah. but it was, yeah. it was, it was oh, because Vlad? of work. Oh, okay. I almost had it. You you queued when it was sixty, and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get it in my queue. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have a a question like, for uh, Panic at the team. Top Hat. Did you see the re top pick coming? Yes, actually. 
We didn't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, we, Our own team didn't see it coming. We, <laughs> uh, I forgot who someone was talking to. Oh, Reese. He was ta- he talked to Reese about about that pick. And so as soon as he picked it, they picked Ari first. It was like, Is Reese oh, your yeah, coach? yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so it was like bamboozled. It, it was like, yeah, he's pu- pulling it top, and we're like, yeah, okay, sounds like Julio, whatever. He plays mages top. Awesome. So yeah, it was. We knew it was coming. It was just we didn't know what to pick into that because no one, no one plays. You're about Soraka. No one played. Okay, Sal hasn't played Soraka top, and it was one of those things where it was like he hasn't played it against an Ari top before. I'm so not even sure like, how it goes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like really. Right. <laughs> just bamboozle him. I love it. It looks like we have. Uh, we thought it was I a mean, good first. Ari was a good first pick because they might they might not know it's top. Like it, it's like or at least until we pick our mid laner. Because if we pick mid lane, then they'll know for sure, kind of thing. But like, because like I don't play Ari that much, so mm-hmm. if I pick something that I play, they're gonna know. But at least like we could save it till the last round, and then it ended up working out really well with the lane swap we did. Because yeah. like we just had to take poor recalls, <laughs> and I just noticed Julio was mid, so I just like I was like fuck it, he's building arm guard, you just stay mid. <laughs> Like, Love and then it worked Sean. out well. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any other real questions, I guess. Uh, Read Adam's guys, question. Adam's question was, why don't you trust my picks? But <laughs> it felt like that was like a, <laughs> a fake. last week. I guess, yeah, let us let us know your thought process. Why don't you trust his picks? <laughs> I didn't it, say. It's not I that don't... we don't trust them. It's just that they, they come up late in the draft. Put it. Okay. To put it kindly. They like, come up like, late in the draft. Oh, about... that's not, that, that sounds exactly or... like my team when they tell me like what we want to be picking like three <laughs> seconds before it's supposed to happen. Yeah. Okay. Every every class. Every <laughs> every so yeah. I guess so if there's any you, takeaway here, we before like you guys hop into pick ban. We usually got like ten minutes as the streamer cough cough me is struggling to set up stream. <laughs> You just open a notepad. Just say like, "What are we banning in round one? What are well, we picking?" No, we thought like so. We had an idea. We were like, "We we thought he was gonna be." Where are we dropping Mundo. boys? Yeah. Where are we sending so Ari? We, jungle. We're, got we're, it. We're planning on we're planning on Mundo jungle, but then they locked Vayne, and we're like, "Fuck, we can't Mundo now." And then oh, we're no. like, "What do we pick?" And we're just like, "Fuck it." Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's amazing. It's fucking Zinza. <laughs> Let's do it. Greg, why are you here? Why is everybody oh. here? Everyone's here. They're just hanging. Uh, just Yo, boys, uh, start pick time. man already. It's an hour past the start time. Please. Um, um, I think I'm giving an so... FF and giving uh, evil. Uh, it's against right. the rules to start the game this late. I'll we just send Zona, you broken Zona, pick ban draft. So, like... <laughs> All right, Bane, Sona, Shaco. Those are our first three picks. Okay. Thank you all for tuning into the stream. Appreciate you guys uh, watching and commenting and having a good time. Um, I am spooked. I was joined by Biscuit, Hat, and the gang. And uh, we'll see you back tomorrow with uh, more matches. I'm, I'm actually going to pull it up. You know what? I'm going to do the due diligence and <laughs> don't spread the notepad secrets, says Violet. Sociocat. Notepads. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's OP. You just, you know, pick, you have a plan going into pick band and then you don't get spooked. That's, wait. Something like that. Okay, so what's the next match going on? Okay. <laughs> okay. So tomorrow night, ten thirty Eastern, we have SSM versus PMAA. Uh here on PMA LCS. I'll be doing that as well. Uh looks like that's our only match for the night. We also have LTN versus Bob on Sunday at ten thirty, and CC versus Va on Sunday at nine PM Eastern. So be sure to check those out. Um, one's over on Chad Penguin on on Twitch, and the other ones will be here.